Well, Kilmini, President Trump is not the first U.S. president uh, to kind of complain about uh, the spending of other allies in NATO. President George W. Bush and President Obama also urged NATO allies to meet that target. Now, NATO uh, members decided way back and then reaffirmed in 2014 that all its members should try and meet a defense budget of 2 percent of GDP, and that target is supposed to be met by 2024. Now, if we look at uh, some of these numbers of how these countries countries are spending at the moment, uh, you'll see that the United States and the United Kingdom are meeting their targets, but countries like Norway, Germany, Canada uh, are lagging. But, you know, we heard from uh, the Italian prime minister, as you heard, and we also heard from the German defense minister. And what they're saying is, look, it's not just about cash, it's also about contributions and what they contribute to NATO. Uh, for instance, the German defense minister said it's uh, the second largest contributor to NATO troops. Um, Italy says, look, we play host to uh, U.S. Navy bases, air bases, intelligence bases. We also contribute troops to NATO's, NATO's uh, alliances and troops around the world. So it's not just about cash. It's also about the contributions.